Hey, what's happening guys? It's B-Side and today on B-Side Talks Guitar, I'm gonna show you the pentatonic scale shape your guitar teacher should have taught you, but probably never did. Hey, what's up? Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to show you this pentatonic scale shape because it's gonna just explode. The, the fretboard's gonna explode open for you to be able to play all over the neck without really having to think too much about it. And the problem is, is when people go get guitar lessons, they're often taught from their guitar teacher, okay, we need to learn the five pentatonic boxes. So we start with pentatonic box one. Then we go to box two. Then we go to box three. And then box four and box five. And we're somehow supposed to memorize those five boxes and in the heat of battle, in the heat of a song, put those all together for some sort of solo. It's just too much information. So instead, what I've started to do is take fragments of those and all those fragments relate around the target note. And the target note is simply the root note of whatever key you're playing in. So if we're playing an A minor pentatonic, then I'm looking for that A note, right? So I'm gonna show you this new shape that you can play over anywhere you find an A on the fretboard. So now all you have to worry about is where your A's are or your root notes are, and then we're gonna build shapes around that root note. So if we have an A here, we have one here. I don't have to think about, oh, which, which pentatonic box is it down here? All I have to know is like, okay, my A is right here. And then I know a shape around that A so I can play a sweet little lick right there. So let's dive into this shape. First off, in the traditional, let's just start with pentatonic box one. In the pentatonic box one, you traditionally have, and then you have that root note. Now I'm gonna call this shape so it's easy to remember, the one, three, two. Now I know what you're saying, you're saying B-side one, three, two, doesn't that equal six? Isn't the pentatonic five? It does equal six, the pentatonic is five. We're just adding in the root note again. So all we're gonna do to make this one, three, two shape is we're gonna take that note that you originally started on, right? In this case, it's an A. But once again, if you're in, if you're in B minor pentatonic, you would just move this to B, okay? All of it still applies. That's the beauty of guitar, right? So we take this A. Now, normally, if we're going in, into box one, we would take our pinky or maybe our ring finger if you have big hands, and you would jump over here to this note, right? which in this case happens to be C, but right there. Instead of doing that, we're actually gonna play right here on that A, and then we're gonna go to the third fret, A string. Okay? And then we're gonna stay on that A string and go from the third to the fifth to the seventh. So you see now we're back in box one, not that I want you to remember that it's box one in this case, but just to kind of show you the relationship here. So instead of going, we're going same notes, except now we've taken that C and played it over here, grab the D and the E, and then we're gonna finish it off with this note right here, which is gonna be on the fifth fret on the D string. That is our full form. Those are the five notes. So if you just look at those five notes, like this diagram I'm gonna put right here, you'll see it's one, three, one are the note patterns, but we're gonna add that octave in there too, so you're landing back on the root note. So now, if you know that shape, you don't need to know the names of the other notes, you don't need to know the scale degrees of the other notes. If you know this shape, the one, three, two, you can play that shape anywhere on the fretboard that you know that there's, in this case, an A, right? We're playing an A minor pentatonic. We have that one that we just played, but there's an A right here. So I can do one, three, two. And now I don't have to think about, wait, which pentatonic box am I down here? Right, if I wanna play something cool here, I can just, and just do it right there. Now let's find another A. How about this one right here that we landed on? Okay, we could go. So 
So now all I have to worry about is where the A's are. And the only thing you have to keep in mind is when you get to the B string, you have to compensate for the fact that the B is only a fourth. So if we take this A right here, that's gonna run us into the B string. We're gonna be on the seventh fret D string. Then we're gonna go to the fifth fret G string. Seven, nine. And then instead of going to the seventh fret like we would normally, because it's the B string, we're actually gonna to go to the eighth and ninth to compensate for that B string, right? So now we have, and we've landed on an A here. So now we can take that same pattern again. Now we're gonna run out of strings here, but I'll just show you that the A, and then I'll just finish this off in a different pattern just so, just so your brain doesn't go crazy wanting resolution there. So that one shape, you can play up and down the fretboard. So if we start on that A note that we did on the fifth fret and we just play that pattern, that one, three, two pattern, you'll see we can play all the way up the neck. And then I'll finish that off. So there, you could have a sweet run the whole way. So now let's take a look at the A note on the 14th fret on the G string right here. So what's neat about this shape is now we have the pattern, we can play it ascending or descending. So how we've been playing it traditionally is right here. And then once again, we have to compensate for that B string. But we know the pattern and we know the pattern ends on an A. So if we take that A note right there, and we go descending, we can do. And now we're back on the A on the 12th fret on the A string. You know, and the great thing is in the heat of the moment, in the heat of the battle, you always have somewhere you can play a lick and start your solos on. So, you know. Let's hit that A note on the 12th fret on the A string. Right, there we go. Now how about the A note on the uh, seventh fret on the D string? Uh, how awesome, dude, you're just rocking it. And how about that A note on the E string? And we'll do a little run to the, we'll, we'll connect two of that same pattern here. And there you go, that one shape, you can play all over the fretboard, you can rock it. One of the things I would recommend you doing is get a little looper, maybe record yourself and have the loop going and just have a single chord kind of playing. So either like that A, or if you wanna do it in other keys, doesn't matter just take a chord play it find the pentatonic scale that you're going to play over it with and just practice finding the target notes on the neck connecting them playing the notes in that in that new pentatonic scale that you know the one three two scale if you dug this lesson would you consider hitting that subscribe button there's a bunch of these other shapes that i'm going to be doing lessons on so you can have a bunch of these in your tool belt with that i'm b-side and we'll catch you next time